Oh, you're going with the Suns. All right, all right, all right. Here in Phoenix, Arizona, as 2K Sports brings you. Oh, those are nice ass jerseys, Holly. Those are real nice. This game marks the end of this stretch at home for the Suns. Back on the road tomorrow. It'll be the Thunder off the tip. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Ennis Cantor is out there with Stephen Adams. Then there's Deion Waiters. Then there's Andre Robertson. And it's Westbrook in the one spot. Russell Westbrook, one of the best success stories when it comes to converting a scoring guard to playing the point. It, but it's his overall talent that's made him successful. His will, his competitiveness, and his incredible athleticism. Yeah, he put himself in great position to finish that break off, guys. Yep, right to the rack. Deflects the pass. Throws it up high. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Boy, the prettiest play in basketball to me. Execute it to perfection. I don't think you're going to get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Well, unless you're the team getting dunked on, of course. Hmm. And Westbrook is a phenomenal rebounder and scorer at the point guard position. He gets steals. He really is one of the stat sheet stuffer supreme guys in the league. Green with the rebound. Hmm. The Suns have gone just one of four to get this game started. Ludzo. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Ludzo's got five points so far. Strong move to the hoop. Nice power move. I like that one. Oh. And Westbrook every season among the league leaders, Steve, in assists, but, but also, unfortunately, in turnovers. Well, with his scoring burden, you know, that's to be expected, but... It's definitely an area he can continue to improve. Morris kicks to right. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Tries again. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Phoenix shooting their first free throws of the game. That free throw missing. Brandon Wright, the former eighth overall pick back in 2007. For his career, Steve, a field goal percentage of around 60%. Well, he's figured out his niche in the league. He wasn't sure what he was when he arrived, but he's a backup big. He's a diver. He's an offensive rebound guy. He's a lob catcher. Uh, so, you know, not a one-on-one -on -one score, but somebody who can play off of others very effectively. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Got a piece of it. Adams, the pass to Westbrook. Robertson can't hit. Hmm. Oklahoma City comes into this one after the win against <laughs> <laughs> you know, so Hey, by the way, Holy City, I apologize for uh, picking the OKC. I actually was challenged by a friend to use this team, so I literally have never used them. Ever. Pretty sad. The defense that didn't really put up much resistance. What an outstanding pass in transition for the easy two. Lunzo kicks to Green. From deep three-point range, the shot is off. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. The Suns beat them last time these two teams met in Phoenix. Well, they lost a very tight game the last time these two clubs met. And you have to believe that it weren't for the foul trouble they were in, the result might have been different. 
The Suns making a switch here. Tucker's checked in. Two. Into his bag of tricks there. Yeah, I hope he keeps that That's one so funny how it's a Fast break here come the Suns. Green leading the charge. That is up tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate in the open court when a steal triggers the break. Yeah, it really does allow your offense to flow <laughs> better. When you can get out and run and get easy opportunities, then everybody gains confidence. The Suns training staff renowned around the league for their ability. Just a heads up to whoever is our watcher right now. I, I got a challenge from a friend to play as OKC. I've never actually played with this team before, in, uh, especially in 1v1s, but I've never really played in, in team ups. And if I have, it was never really uh, as any of the star players, per se. So I am not used to I, I know DJ Augustine from another team. Kyle Singler from another team. Like those are the teams I, I would play with the bum squads. I don't ever play with the uh, the good ones. So this is, a, this is just a little bit going to be a little bit different for me. And when you ask people in the Suns organization about the training staff, Steve, they say they really hold players accountable. And, and Seth the Curry. Many people's minds. Well, I was there with getting the, ripped on his yeah, first possession. Manager for several years, and uh, that staff is as good as any. And there's no doubt. I mean, if there's no commitment from the players to their conditioning and their training uh, it doesn't matter how good the training staff is it's not going to work here's curry the thunder making the shot hits the front of the rim and out well, i tell you what that's too good a look to pass up there even though it didn't go that's one you got to take they really can't allow him too many open looks like that i mean that's just inviting trouble and first time out of the game called for phoenix they defeated the Pelicans in their last game. And in that game, guys, I watched it. They were dominant defensively down on the low block, just controlling the paint. And, you know, once they got a few blocks, the shooters started looking around for those shot blockers, which is no way to be effective offensively. For the Thunder, Jones comes in for Kyle Singler. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Augustine. Curry kicks to Goodwin. This is Archie and going, time, dude. Also a missed shot. Morrow dishes to Jones. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. And again, a few more points added to the lead. They might be ready to pull away here. Ooh, look at Seth. Steve, as well as got like his brother. Right now, that could be the case. Here's Westbrook. He played real well against Atlanta in that last game. And they're Ooh. able to recover. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Thunder out in front as they wrap up the first quarter on a 14-3 run. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Thunder. They've set the first half tone by really getting out in transition. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. On the floor for Oklahoma City, getting going here in the second quarter. We've got Russell Westbrook, McGarry out there with Nick Collison. Then there's Anthony Morrow, and it's Roberson in the three slot. Morris is checked in for Phoenix. Budzo comes in for Curry. And they've set up countless buckets off assists. That's a huge part of what they've been doing here today. A lot of dime dropping going on out there, Steve. Oh, they're now plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour stats. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Um, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. Gerald Green, he's checked in for Goodwin. Oh! oh are you kidding me? That was a power yes. punch right yeah. there. Oh, great. 
And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's though. right. Those are phenomenal dunks to watch. So much fun. Coach Scott Brooks of the Thunder, he's brought great stability to this organization. A lot of talent on this roster, but doesn't always fit in terms of their offensive flow. So uh, the Thunder like to keep it pretty simple with their X's and O's. It's stolen by Morris. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Can't connect from long distance. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. No, that's for sure, because this guy's too good of a shooter to miss that look. <laughs> Terrible pass. That was the Let's worst pass I've ever seen to Carson. Good numbers. cut. Last 10 games for him have been very nice. He's putting up about 16 points a game, five rebounds, and two assists. And some pretty good numbers, I think, guys, when you look overall at his contributions. Yeah, and he's always looking to raise his game, and that's what you see in his consistency. What's up, buddy? One of the important characteristics that he brings to the table. What's up? Did you guys already decide to call it quits? 